Hi, okay, welcome back. We're looking at Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek. We're again in the exercises at the end of chapter two. And this time I want to give you an example of translating from Greek into English. Do you remember that last time I highlighted a method I want to encourage you to use so that you're less likely to make any slips and any mistakes in uh, doing the translation? You start with the verb and then you get the subject and then you do the object. Verb, subject, object. You do exactly the same thing when you're going from English into Greek. It's a little bit harder because you need to know the Greek better, but you can still do it in exactly the same way. So here goes, Christ says the words. Christ says the words. Where's the verb? Don't leap straight in and try and remember what Christ is. Says. And in particular, who says? Is it first person, second person, or third person? I say is first person. You say is second person, I, you, he, she, or it. Well, in this case, it's Christ who's doing the saying. So this is the third person, singular or plural, one Christ or many Christs. Third person, singular. And what's the verb that it comes from? Says, I say, the verb for to say is from uh, lego, lego. So now we get lego and put it in the third person singular. So lego, well, go back to your luo if that helps you. Luo, luace, lue, luomen, lueta, luusin. Luo, luace, lue. One, two, three, third person. So, leg a. Leg a, he says. Verb. Next, what do we do? Subject. Well, you know in English, what's the subject? Who is the one who is doing the saying? We've already established that. It's Christ. This is the subject. Now, if it's in the if it's the subject of the verb, then in Greek it wants to be in which case? Remember the case is a little label that tells you what a word is doing in the sentence. The nominative case, that's right, nominative case is the case that tells you that it's the subject of the sentence. So we want nominative, singular or plural? Singular. Only one Christ. And what's the word that this comes from? It's Christos. Christos. Oh, that's doing there. Here we are. The pen's not working today. Or maybe it's my writing. Christos. So, Christos lege, Christ says, except there's something wrong with that. Think back to section 2.5, back a page, special uses of the definite article. What's one of the special uses of the article in Greek? That's right. We tend to put the definite article before proper names like David and also before if uh, the writer is from a perspective when he believes there's only one God, um, then as in the New Testament authors, <laughs> then the article comes before the name of God as well. So uh, because it, uh, Christos is, though it's not a proper name, it's a title, but it's used in the kind of, kind of the same way as a proper name in lots of context. Here we would say ho Christos, ho Christos lege, Christ says. We wouldn't say the Christ unless the context required it. And it might do, depending on what the rest of the surrounding sentences said. But, ho Christos, lege, verb, subject, next, easy, object. And the object, well, the things that are being said, the words. So, um, let's start this time just by getting the word for words down. What's that? Logos. So, logos means word or our word. But we want words, singular or plural. Obviously, it's plural. What case is it in? Remember, a case is like a little label that tells you what the word is doing in a sentence. In particular, it tells you how this noun is relating to the verb. And this is the object of the verb, which means it is therefore in the accusative case. So we want the accusative plural of logos. Well, that's easy. Go back to your table a few pages back and you've memorized it now, haven't you? Because you've been working 20 minutes a day, five or six days a week, and we go logos, logon, plural, logoi, logus. To save time, I'm just going to do that. So, ho Christos, Christ, says logus, words. But hold on, we want the words. So we need to have the definite article straight before this. Now, which definite article do we want? Well, we want the definite article that agrees with logus. So it needs to be accusative, plural. So back to your definite article. Remember the table. Ho, ton. 
That's the singular nominative and accusative. Hoi tus. Ta-da. Tus. Oh, now that upsilon is a bad one because it looks too pointed at the bottom. It looks like a new, at least it would to me if I was being careless. So make it nice and rounded. Tus logus means the words in the accusative plural. So, ho Christos lege tus logus. The Christ says the words, or Christ, probably more likely if it's just um, sitting there on its own. Christ says the words. Subject, sorry, verb, subject, then object. In that order, it will help you avoid mistakes, especially when the sentences get more complicated. Okay, keep working at these examples. You've got a whole part of them which Duff has very kindly put out for you on page 30. Exercise section A have um, got the answers in the back. Section B, there is another book which you can get that's got the answers to those in if you want them, but you can use them uh, to test yourself just as well. Okay, keep working at this, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, five or six days a week. Just plow on, keep learning the vocab, keep reminding the, yourself of the paradigms of the uh, verb and of the noun and of the article while you're doing the washing up, while you're in the car driving to work, while you're sitting on the bus or on the train. And if you keep working at that, get to the end of this chapter, work through the exercises, mark your own work with the, uh, the answers in the back and correct any mistakes. Any comments and questions, please leave them in the comments below this video and we will get on in the next video to chapter three, looking at more cases and more genders to cover lots of different nouns in Greek and you will really start to see how you can use these very powerful tools to, uh, of case and, uh, and number in particular to say very complex things very, very quickly and very easily. Okay, God bless. See you next time.